I was in a meeting negotiating and about to say yes and that's when I realized that actually I didn't want to sell my business. If you guys have been following me, you guys already know this, but I was at an absolute loss in around 2017 through to 2021. Yes, that's how long I wasn't sure of what to do with my business, which is something that people just don't ever think about because when you start out in business, you have all these hopes and all these dreams about what it will become. But in my case, what had happened was that I had achieved my dreams in my business. I'd already reached my goals that I'd set out for myself. And that was essentially just that I wanted to have freedom, which basically just meant that I wanted flexibility in my schedule. I wanted to sleep in if I wanted to. I wanted to be able to take a day off and go out with a friend if that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to dictate what my work looked like for myself. So if that meant that I was interested in learning about marketing, then that was the rabbit hole I was going to go under. Rather than what I had as a comparison, which was me working as a pharmacist before I moved into tutoring full time. And that was just, I just didn't see any career progression for me. Each day to day felt extremely mundane and menial. And so I've talked about this in detail in other videos, so I'll just link that up above for you so I don't repeat myself. But when I started this lifestyle tutoring business of mine, I had already accomplished everything that I had set out to do. And so that's why I just felt so confused and uncertain of which direction to actually take the business, which a lot of people don't really talk about. I think a really big part about feeling lost was that I had no guidance, mentorship, or a coach to actually show me the ways. There was just a lot of unknowns and I just felt like I had done what I wanted to do with this business. Where next? I have coaches and business advisor now. And it just gives me so much more clarity in where I want to lead the business with their help and with their expertise. And so when I look back, I really wish that that's something that I had at that time, which hopefully would have pulled me out of this state of feeling lost into a state where I was being more proactive rather than having to wait for something external like an offer coming from another business to catalyze me in the direction that I am in now. And so I'll take this chance to let you know that I do offer tutors coaching. All of my clients are tutors themselves who are either just starting out in business or they've already grown their business to several students or potentially even higher tutors themselves. And what they really love when it comes to coaching with me is that I'm one of the very few people out there who specialize in this tutoring niche. So I can share with you my experiences in this specific industry to really help you streamline your own growth. So if you're interested, then check out my free masterclass for the three-step framework to a six-figure tutoring career. If I'm to be completely honest, there were many times where I just wanted a way out, but I didn't really know what that way out looked like. And so when an offer came through to me in early 2021 that a company wanted to acquire my business, it was just a revelation to me. I had no idea that selling my business was even an option. When I went into this business full time, I was 24 and I was just thinking the short term, you know, I just thought to myself, if I can do this forever, I'm going to be happy. And I suppose that's really naive of me because as we get older, we evolve, our interests change and we want to do new and different things, or at least for me. And so I'd never actually started out this business thinking that I would sell the business one day. I just thought that it was just this burden that was just lumped on me in those directionless years I was having. And I've said this before, but the metaphor that I like to use is that I've built my own prison in a way. So when I finally got this offer, I was super excited. I thought to myself, this is my way out. This is how I just can make that really clear cut and move on to a new chapter of my life. And actually going through the experience itself was quite confusing. I mean, when you sell a business for the first time, there's actually just so much that goes into it. Very much like, buying a house for the first time. There's just so many finicky parts, the legalities, the accounting parts, the actual negotiation part, and the part where in business, like you wanna sell to a company who you feel will, at least in my case, actually take over and grow beyond what you imagined you could do, but in a positive way and having a positive impact on the world. So it is both emotionally and mentally taxing because you're just juggling all of these thoughts and there's really no right answer. So after a lot of umming and ahhing over several months, a lot of back and forth meetings, a lot of chats with business brokers, with accountants, and with other business owners, I was just this close to actually saying yes. 
But then in that meeting when I was making negotiations, it just came over me like a wave with the realization that I didn't feel like I was done. If anything, what I felt was that this whole experience of being this close to selling my business actually catapulted me or catalyzed me back into the business because I realized that, hang on a minute, you've got all these ideas for my business. What if I could do this? What if this is the next big goal for my business? Ironically, it was this potential sale of the business with the realization that, hang on a minute, what I've grown right now is a lifestyle business. It serves me. But what if I could turn it into a growth business, one that can truly scale? And when I had that mental shift, it just unlocked all these potential things that I could do in my business. For example, I could finally hire employees properly and not just contractors. I could focus on building in systems and processes which would allow me to truly scale my business. And as a goal for myself, this actually was super exciting because I knew just how much I would be learning and growing and evolving as a business owner if I were to have this growth mentality. And so having had this conversation almost over a year ago, I can tell you that I'm feeling super excited about my business. I have reinvigorated vision and energy for it. And I'm just really glad that it's an experience I've gone through. And I hope that by sharing it with you, it gives you some ideas for your own business. Because I know that at the time, there just wasn't anyone really for me to talk to. And this information just wasn't that readily accessible. And information about selling a business and what that really meant for a business owner just wasn't readily available. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to comment the clap emoji just down below so I know that you've reached the end of this video and found this video helpful. And I'd love to hear your two cents too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!